Awake. Be the witness of your thoughts. The elephant hauls himself from the mud. In the same way drag yourself out of your sloth. Irrigators channel waters, fletchers straighten arrows, carpenters bend wood, the wise master themselves. Abstain from all sinful, unwholesome actions, perform only pious wholesome ones, purify the mind, this is the teaching of enlightened ones. Following the noble path is like entering a dark room with a light in the hand, the darkness will all be cleared away, and the room will be filled with light. Sometime, somewhere you take something to be the truth. But if you cling to it too strongly, then even when the truth comes in person and knocks on your door, you will not open it. A noble person is mindful and thankful for the favors he receives from others. Joyful is the accumulation of good work. Do not believe what your teacher tells you merely out of respect for the teacher. He who walks in the company of fools suffers much. Company with fools, as with an enemy, is always painful. Company with the wise is pleasure, like meeting with kinfolk. Like a lovely flower full of color but lacking in fragrance, are the words of those who do not practice what they teach. You are the source of all purity and impurity. No one purifies another. To stop suffering, stop greediness. Greediness is a source of suffering. To live a single day and hear a good teaching is better than to live a hundred years without knowing such teaching. Letting go isn't easy, but it is the path to liberation and inner serenity. Overcoming yourself is better than overcoming a million enemies in battle. Know what you do not know. Wherever there is light, there is shadow, wherever there is length, there is shortness, wherever there is white, there is black. Just like these, as the self-nature of things cannot exist alone, they are called non-substantial. As the bee collects nectar and departs without injuring the flower, or its color or fragrance, so let the sage dwell on earth. Before giving, the mind of the giver is happy, while giving, the mind of the giver is made peaceful, and having given, the mind of the giver is uplifted. Even death is not to be feared by one who has lived wisely. Chaos is inherent in all compounded things. Strive on with diligence. Though he should conquer a thousand men in the battlefield a thousand times, yet he, indeed, who would conquer himself is the noblest victor. You too shall pass away. Knowing this, how can you quarrel? Have compassion for all beings, rich and poor alike, each has their suffering. Some suffer too much, others too little. Few are those among men who have crossed over to the other shore, while the rest of mankind runs along the bank. However those who follow the principles of the well-taught truth will cross over to the other shore, out of the dominion of death, hard though it is to escape. The foot feels the foot when it feels the ground. We must be diligent today. To wait until tomorrow is too late. Death comes unexpectedly. How can we bargain with it? Do not think lightly of good, that nothing will come of it. A whole water pot will fill up from dripping drops of water. Once you know the nature of anger and joy is empty and you let them go, you free yourself from karma. There is no meditation without wisdom, and there is no wisdom without meditation. When a man has both meditation and wisdom, he is indeed close to nirvana. Wakefulness is the way to life. The fool sleeps as if he were already dead, but the master is awake and he lives forever. 
Whatever an enemy might do to an enemy, or a foe to a foe, the ill-directed mind can do to you even worse. Beings are owners of their actions, heirs of their actions, they originate from their actions, are bound to their actions, have their actions as their refuge. It is action that distinguishes beings as inferior and superior. As long as one feels that he is the doer, he cannot escape from the wheel of births. The one who wanders independent in the world, free from opinions and viewpoints, does not grasp them and enter into disputations and arguments. As the lotus rises on its stalk unsoiled by the mud and the water, so the wise one speaks of peace and is unstained by the opinions of the world. Those who recognize the existence of suffering, its cause, its remedy, and its cessation, have fathomed the Four Noble Truths. They will walk in the right path. Dignity and quiet joy in all that we do are the expression of perfect concentration and perfect wisdom. As you travel though life, offer good wishes to each being you meet. Believe, meditate, see. Be harmless, be blameless. Awake to the law. And from all sorrows free yourself. I knew that most people never see this reality because they attach to the material aspect of the world. Illusions of self and other fill their vision. I also realized there are those with little dust limiting their vision. When your mind is set in meditative equipoise, you can see reality exactly as it is. Our good and bad deeds follow us almost like a shadow. Look not for refuge to anyone beside yourself. Heed fast to the truth as a lamb. The eating of meat extinguishes the seed of great compassion. Whoever sees me sees the teaching, and whoever sees the teaching sees me. Better than a meaningless story of a thousand words is a single word of deep meaning which, when heard, produces peace. Speak or act with a pure mind, and happiness will follow you as your shadow, unshakable. If you hold yourself dear, protect yourself well. Seeking but not finding the house builder I traveled through life after life. How painful is repeated birth. House builders, you have now been seen. You will not build the house again. Karma grows from our hearts. Karma terminates from our hearts. It is more important to prevent animal suffering, rather than sit to contemplate the evils of the universe praying in the company of priests. 